Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're healthy and that the quarantine isn't making you go insane. Um, so, as the title says, right here, this video is gonna be a tattoo tour. It was initially 20 minutes long, but I decided to cut it in half. This is the first part of my tattoo tour. Okay, enjoy the video! give you guys when I got the tattoos, the meaning behind them, the pain level, and at the end of the video I'm actually gonna give a ranking of which were the most painful and the least painful, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Okay, donc, um, bah on, bah on va commencer, hein? First tattoo that I got was this one. Um, so this, I got it in Shanghai uh, when I was 17. That was my first tattoo and it took about 10-15 minutes to do it and this cost me about 400 yuan uh, this is pronounced chiang uh, and it means strength so um, when I got this piercing uh, for a long time I knew that my first tattoo would be a Chinese character because I grew up in Shanghai I really wanted to do something that would symbolize all the years that I spent in Shanghai so yeah I wanted to get a Chinese character I decided to get strength mainly to remind myself to stay strong uh, no matter the situation so uh, when I got it, I was about to graduate from high school and that was the time where I would leave Shanghai to move... Uh, well, I went to Canada in the end. I just wanted to stay strong during that departure and settling somewhere new uh, where I didn't know people, like that whole transition. So that I thought that's why at that time I wanted to get that tattoo. And now obviously it's a reminder to stay strong no matter the situation. Honestly, the pain, I would give it an 8 out of 10. It was so fucking painful. And like, the, okay, the pain rating right now is not based on um, the fact that, like obviously psychological pain, it's not based on that. It was my first tattoo and I was super scared. But physical pain was honestly an 8 out of 10 for me. Uh, my second tattoo, was oh right my back okay so my back tattoo i got it in london it was a japanese style tattoo artist i knew that i wanted to get this quote from my favorite anime um full metal alchemist and it had this anime had a lot of meaning to me so this is basically what the quote says <laughs> その痛みに耐え乗り越えた時人は何者にも負けない強靭な心を手に入れるそう鋼のような心そう so, yeah, okay. Summer 2015 was my first breakup and it was this really hard transition, like big existential crisis. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, where I wanted to study. I was supposed to go to University of Toronto, but I dropped out after like first day of orientation because I just freaked out yeah good times I rewatched Formidal Alchemist during that summer and I was just like mind blown because everything that this anime was saying was resonating with me and the way I was feeling at that time honestly I didn't think a lot before getting it I was like okay it's gonna look like that and it's gonna be on my back and I like that quote so just put it on my body and yeah, the only thing that's a bit too bad is that I don't see it a lot. Uh, sometimes I actually forget that it's there. It actually lasted one and a half hours and the pain level, I would say six out of ten because it was hard to breathe and that's what made it worse because, you know, during tattoos, that's when you really have to breathe. I was afraid that if I breathe too hard, it would fuck up the tattoo. So I was breathing like, like super short breath. And that, that made the whole process even harder. Like I was constantly thinking of the way I was breathing and if I was getting enough air and not moving too much. But tattooing itself on that part of the body, it's not that bad. Like this is not a, a point that is too sensitive compared to the wrist. The wrist is like... <sighs> the price... How much was it? It did this also. Probably 300 pounds. My third tattoo, I got it a month and a half, two months after my second tattoo. In the same shop, I saw like the flashes that he had. The design was a bit different at first. Like instead of the Daruma doll, there was comme une tête de mort, il y a une tête de mort. And the leaves were dead leaves. It lasted three, I would say three and a half hours. Oh shit, no, 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 wait. <laughs> I did another tattoo before that. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish with this story and then I'll get back to. So this is the fourth tattoo actually, and then the third. Yeah, okay. So the pain, honestly, it wasn't that painful and I was so surprised. I thought the thigh would be super painful. Also, it lasted 
three to four hours, which is a really long time sitting and getting tattooed. Like your skin gets really sensitive and swollen. So five out of 10, about 400 pounds. This one was the most expensive. And honestly, the coloring was the least painful part. I thought it would be so freaking painful, but it wasn't that bad at all. So the four, <laughs> the third tattoo, <laughs> third tattoo is this uh, little fox uh, which reminded me of the the night help fox from Naruto I'm gonna mention anime a lot in this video by the way because I have a lot of anime related tattoos so if you hate Japanese culture this you're not gonna like this video by the way I should have said that before <laughs> uh, was also one of the tattoo artists flashes and I just completely fell in love with it as soon as I saw it I thought it was so cute that was my first color tattoo it wasn't that painful it lasted about one hour the pain I would actually also say 6 out of 10 so it's, it was a bit more painful than my thigh tattoo because there's less fat closer to the bone and that was why it was painful but yeah it cost me about 175 pounds oh and the meaning fuck I completely forgot to give you guys the meanings behind the third and the fourth tattoo there are no meanings it's just purely aesthetic Bye. So during my gap year, I went back to Shanghai to visit my family and that was when I got, so this is my fifth tattoo and it's also on my wrist but it's the left one and it means weak or weakness pronounced ruo and I decided to get that because during that year um, I realized that we can't stay strong all the time and sometimes admitting that you're weak or showing vulnerability is actually a strength and you can't have one without the other. I think it's a really important dualism that is present in life in general. So I thought just having strength on my right arm, something was missing. So getting the other side is like a balance. I really matured enough to understand that vulnerability is also very important and hiding your pain and not coming to terms with the fact that you may be vulnerable at that time and wanting to stay strong at all times sometimes it's just not healthy this is what this tattoo represents for me at least this is my my way of seeing it this tattoo just reminds me that if i am sad and if i do feel like shit then it's fine that it's fine not to be fine and that is the most cliche thing Ugh, me. Anyways, my tattoos are fucking cliche. I got it by the same uh, tattoo artist as the first one. Same price, around 400 Chinese yuan, and yeah, the pain, still super painful. I handled it way better than the first time, but it was still painful. I, like, I still remembered, oh yeah, that area is a fucking bitch. Next one is a tattoo that I got in Montreal. I got it in 2017. It was a flash event, so there were already flashes available and they were at a reduced price. So this is the... Um, this uh, hair? Air? I don't know how to pronounce it. But this, this animal. And this one lasted probably an hour and a half, something. Uh, and it cost me, I think, $200 Canadian dollars. And the pain was also, I would say, 5 out of 10. And this one also has no meaning. I just walked into that store and there were a lot of people, and I was just like, okay, that one. On my body. And I actually kind of forget that it's there. Like, I was gonna skip to the next one, I almost forgot it because I never see it. It's like on the back of my calf. Okay, after that, it was my Spirited Away tattoo. So I was just scrolling on Instagram and a friend of mine showed me the tattoo artist that did a Spirited Away tattoo on him. So that was his first tattoo. So I looked at that guy's Instagram page and he drew another flash of no face from Spirited Away. So yeah, here you can see his head. I only wanted the head, I didn't want the bottom part. But he said he couldn't do that. Like, he wanted to keep that flash for a person that wanted it in its entire design so he made a new one for me now I realize that I like it less than the original one I think it's one of the tattoos that I like the least and if I had the choice to do it again now currently I probably wouldn't do it or maybe I would do it somewhere different uh, I feel like I could have chosen a better spot I don't know I, I still like it it's still very beautiful very well made and I love, I still love Spirited Away and No Face is one of my favorite characters so I'm very happy I have it and I don't regret it at all but if I was given that choice again I think I would save that spot on my leg for something else I feel like this was a bit rushed for me most of my tattoos are spontaneous anyways and I never regret them like there is no point in regretting a tattoo like it's done, it's done this one lasted I think two hours, two hours and a half maybe 400 Canadian dollars, something like that this spot was actually so freaking painful like the spot where there's the bone that was the worst like it was so bad so I think my pain rating would be uh, probably 7 out of 10 like honestly it was bad mm. 
Obviously this one also has no meaning. I just love Miyazaki's, all the characters and the, all the emotions that comes with watching each movie and listening to the music. Now I'm trying to think more about my tattoos and because like I'm gonna run out of space eventually so I want to be able to still get tattoos even when I'm like 60. Okay, so this is the end of part one. I'll see you guys next week or the week after depending on well, it's quarantine, so I have nothing else to do than post on YouTube. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon for part two. Make sure to stay tuned for that and click on the bell and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye!